Welcome. We'll just take a moment and let uh, people show up. Uh, take a look at the sport here, and we'll get going very shortly. So we'll just wait till a few people show up. Just take a moment, take a look at the board, screenshot for later if need be. Uh, we'll get back to this very shortly. How's the sound quality there, Avalon? Doing good? All right, so a few people have started showing up. We'll take a moment, uh, take a screenshot of the board here. Less than a minute, we'll get going. I'll tell you guys exactly what we're being do, what we're going to be doing today. We move the board back, get a little bit of a wide open area, and we'll get going. So take a screenshot if you guys just showed up. I'll explain this in very uh, fine detail in just a moment. Okay, so I'm just going to keep the board here for now. I'll go in detail of this just in a moment after I give you guys some briefing and then we'll go into the workout. And then I'll move the board back and I'll be more on screen. It's just hard with the angles that I'm working with here for now. Uh, I'm Wes and I'm here with Avalon. Avalon and I are both fitness and sport instructors from CFB Suffield. Uh, today's session is a muscular endurance workout. Just take a look at the board there. Uh, we will be working on movement protocols that resemble the annual force evaluation. This will be one hour in total. Uh, one in three, these, this will be one in three, so that'll be your first and third round, will be movements that represent the 20 meter rushes intermittent loaded shuttle. So it'll be 10 in and outs, four hand release burpees with 180 degree, degree twist, 10 toe taps, and then a static hold for 25 seconds with dumbbells or kettlebells. Uh, those will be four minutes a piece. Uh, then we'll carry on to two and four, which will resemble sandbag lift and sandbag drag which is 10 weighted squats, 10 body, watt, body weight squats, 20 squat holds, and then 10 supermans. Uh, so each of these will be four minutes long. You'll have two minute rest period, and then you'll go one, two, three, four. And then there's gonna be a little bit of an isometric hold at the very end, which I will go in detail right now. So we got 15 seconds of a lunge with your left foot, lunge of your right foot, hollow rock, plank, uh, 20 seconds, lunge left, lunge right, hollow rock, plank. And then 30 seconds, lunge left, lunge right, all the rock plank. Uh, RPEs to stay in for today. If you're in the beginner category, six to seven. So that is somewhere between uh, an effort that is subjective to yourself. So a six to seven out of 10 RPE for intermediate would be seven or eight out of 10 RPE for advanced would be eight to 10. So I went in detail of this in a prior episode. So it kind of means like your reps in reserve. So 
for RPE 67, you got about three or four reps in the reserve, or you still got a little bit left in the tank that you can give at the end. RPE 78, you got a little bit less than that, but you still can do a little bit more. Eight to 10, you got a little bit more, or you got no more to give, and that is full effort. If you need any modifications for any of these workouts here, send us a message. Owl and myself and Jeremy will be able to answer the questions and give you some modifications. Uh, Jeremy will be on standby for military members at, at our local base for our reconditioning. He's our reconditioning specialist. At this time, I'll ask you to look at the disclosure in the description box. So take a moment, look at the disclosure. I'm going to put this back a little bit and give me some room. So take a moment, look at the disclosure, screenshot this if need be. Just give you guys a few more moments here. So if you guys are at the disclosure, perfectly fine. If you're back, just follow along when you come back. Please play your own music as that will affect our sound quality if we do play music during this time frame. So play your own music. Uh, equipment for today will be one to two light to medium kettlebells, water and a mat. So for the demonstration here, what we have today for one and three, so our first and third round is 10 in and outs. So in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, and so forth. 10 in total, four hand release burpees with 180 degree twist. So you're going down, hand release, getting up, switching sides. Four in total. You got 10 toe taps, so you can use your weight, put it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then off to a static hold with weights. So you can just grab your weights, you can make them the same. And you're just holding for 25 seconds. I'll be counting aloud with your weights in your hand. Try to build some grip strength. For your second and fourth round, it'll be 10 weighted squats. So find a reasonable weight. Perform the front loaded weighted squat, 10 in total. Try to keep your knees tracking straight, up and down, in line with your second toe, chest up, 10 in total. Then it'll be 10 body weight squats, same process, but weightless, other than your own body weight. 10 in total, followed by 20 second squat hold, so you'll have your weight. Holding at the bottom position, 90 degree bend there in the knees, in the hips, holding the weight, keeping the chest up, 20 seconds, followed by 10 Superman. So you're gonna need your mat, forming your 10 Superman. So bring the legs up, bringing the torso up as well. And total. So again, it's going to be four minutes apiece, uh, two minute rest in between, four rounds in total, alternating between which circuit we're doing for each round. And then at the very end, we're going to do some isometric holds for 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and 30 seconds with lunge left, lunge right, hollow rock, hollow rock and plank. And try to stay within a reasonable uh, speed and intensity for yourself. So if you're a beginner, stay within six to seven. So don't go too hard unless it is safe to do so. If you're intermediate, go for a seven to eight out of 10. And if you're advanced, go eight to 10, so maximal effort. If you guys have any questions, shoot that in the comments as we go along. I'll try to take a look uh, every so often. Avalon and Jeremy will be in the comment section as well. Uh, so we'll get going in just a moment. Just grab a drink of water if you're getting ready to go. So for today's warm up, all we're going to be doing is a stationary uh, representing the force warm up. So what we're going to be doing is just the movements that you'd be doing for at the beginning of the force uh, annual assessment, which is the warm up. So we're going to start with just arms circle forward for 20 seconds. 
So the 20 seconds is going to be in replacement of the 20 meters. forward, 20 seconds backwards. So I know most of my regulars are at work or they're busy at this moment. They said they will follow along later, so that's perfectly fine. We're going to do arms across chest for 20 minutes. Swing the arms forward, opening the chest on the way back, getting a little stretch, warming up the shoulders, warming up the arms, warming up the chest. Arms swing up and down. Twenty minutes or twenty seconds for the arms swinging, off to high knees. seconds. Warming up the hips, warming up the knees, get the ankles going. Off the butt kicks, so flicking the heels back. Frankenstein's, opposite arm, opposite leg. Meeting in the middle. Twenty seconds. One more after. Last one. We're going to be jumping side to side in replacement of the side shuffling as well as the karaoke's. So just leaving off one leg, landing on the other, and repeating. 20 seconds in total. Try to control, try to not lose your balance. So one, two, and three. Finish off running on the spot here. So this is the first part of the force warm up, which is more the dynamic movements. And then they would go on to stationary movements, which we were kind of already doing, but we're gonna do some more stationary movements. So going to five side bends per side. Find a spot in the room that you're not gonna hit the roof. Drop the side. Get that little stretch in the lats, little stretch, QL. Three. That's four. Last one. And five. Three bodyweight squats. One, two, three. Three sideways lunges. Alternate in between. One, two, and three. Lunge complex, starting with the left leg in the same spot, moving the right leg backwards and forwards, a total of three times per direction. Going backwards, starting off with the one. This will be two. Try to control, try to not lose your balance. And three. Switching off. Other side. That's one. Going on the two. And your last one. Everyone's favorite, some Spider-Man lunges. We're gonna do three per side. Going down to the plank position. 
Bringing the left foot, left hand, left hand up, little rotation. You should feel it in your thoracic spine. And down, foot back, repeat. That is one per side. Slow control, not a race. Going off two. Hope you guys got some music in the background, a little extrinsic motivation. Switching off three. That's your third. We're just gonna do three hand releases standing upright. We're gonna be doing quite a bit in your first and your third round. That's gonna be a lot. So we'll just do three for now. Going down, hand release. Don't do the 180 yet. Repeat. This is number two. Last one. And up. Grab a drink of water. Keep the feet moving. We're gonna get going in just a moment. So we're gonna get going in just 30 seconds or so. So grab a drink of water. Get your music started. I'll rerun you guys through what we're doing real quick. We're on the first round today for today's workout. It's muscular endurance. Uh, so that means we're just gonna be going a lot for a long period. We're gonna be doing am reps. So that means you're just doing as many reps as you can in that round. So you're just gonna go through this rotation of movements as many times as you can throughout that duration, which is four minutes. And then we're gonna move on to our two, and then we're gonna go back to three and then four. So for the first little bit, 10 in and out, just moving the feet as quick as you can. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. So narrow, wide, narrow, wide. After that, four hand release burpees. Depending on who you are, if you're more of a beginner, just do the hand release, push up, stand up. If you have to go off the knees, go off the knees. And if you are a beginner, don't worry about throwing that 180 degree twist or 180 degree uh, little switch. Don't worry about doing that today. That's something you can do on a later date. If you guys are more intermediate or advanced, feel free to throw that 180 degree twist into it. 10 toe taps, so find something to use to represent where your toes are gonna to tap. It could be a weight, kettlebell, dumbbell, it could be stairs, depending on what you prefer. And then it's gonna just be 25 seconds of a dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you've got. If you got books, something to grip onto to build a little bit of grip strength and to help you out with that sandbag lift or sandbag carry, which is intermittent loaded shuttles. So we're gonna get going with that. In the two minute rest period, I will rerun us through the other portion in just a moment. So get everything going. I'm gonna grab a little bit more equipment here. And get your stopwatch going. Get your water on standby. We're gonna be starting in three, two, one, go. So 10, in and out, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hand releases. Push up, jump, switch. It is on two toe taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Then your 25 second hold. So, if you want to use books, use books. Grip onto those books. Hold, I'll be counting it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Minute in, three minutes to go. Back to the start, which is 10 in and out. So one, two, three, four. That's a total of one. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Off to the hand releases to burpees with 180 degrees. Do your hand release, push up, stand up, jump, rotate. Tip on this. Stay low, don't worry about the full extension, and do your rotation low. Toe taps. 
working on some speed here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Gripping. You can go back to the books, go back to your kettlebells, go back to your dumbbells, whatever you prefer. You can have your thumb over for the grip. We're on five, six, you can have your thumb away. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Weights down, back to the start. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm losing my balance. Eight, nine, and 10. Off to the releases. We got a minute and a half to go. First round, burpees. different weights. I'm working with what I got. Some people don't have a full set of weights. Just make sure to switch them off. Make sure to keep your core engaged. Make sure not to lean towards one side or the other. We're five seconds in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, 24, 25. We got 20 seconds left. So we're gonna go off to the in and out. One more time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This takes some rhythm. Off to the hand releases with five seconds to go. We'll just finish off strong with one more. Two minute rest period. Just grab a drink of water. So depending on who you are, if you bought a kettlebell set from the store, sometimes it comes with like a uh, 5, 10, and 15, and it won't even give you a full set with both sides. So work with what you got, grip onto it, choose the grip you want. You can have the thumb in contact with the rest of the fingers, thumb out of, out of the situation, out of the play, and it's going to be a little bit harder if you go like so. Make sure to switch them up between rounds, keep your core engaged like I said, and don't be Leaning more to one side or the other, keep the core engaged, keep you upright. Still got one minute to go. We're going to be going on to our second round. Different movements. I'm just going to grab a drink. A lot of familiar faces. Glad to have you guys here. Enjoy this rest period if you guys are following along. You got 50 more seconds. In 50 seconds, we're gonna be going into our second round. Second round is again 10 weighted squats. So this is gonna to be torture. You're gonna to do squats with weight, squats with body weight, and then a squat hold. So you're gonna feel that burn in the quads. You're gonna have a hard time trying to keep your chest up, trying to keep your back up. You're just gonna try your best, and then you're gonna burn out and Perform 10 supermen, so just like I've done before, legs, on, you're on the ground, legs up, arms up. 15 seconds to go, and we'll be jumping into our second round. Grab a medium to light weight, whatever you prefer. I got a 25 here, that's perfectly fine. Starting in three, two, one, go. Ten body or ten weighted. One, try to keep the knees tracking straight up and down. Two, three, looking up. Four, five, exhale on the way up. Six, all the way down, break it parallel. Seven, eight, nine, and your last one. Put the weight down, same thing. If you want to pick up the tempo, pick up the speed, pick up the speed if you can. If that's not for you, perfectly fine. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Grab your weight if you want to do your hold with the weight or not. Going down, breaking that parallel. I had an issue two weeks ago or last week. This is hard. We're going to be doing what it's asking, which is 20 seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Grabbing your mat so you don't have to lie on the floor there. Ten Superman. And legs up, arms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm burning out. This is good. Moving that out of the way. Back to your weighted squats. Our time is at nearly two minutes in. So we got two minutes to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put that down, body weight. Same thing. Try to load your legs evenly. Don't try to fit, fit, make one your favorite and go towards that one side. Keep your glutes engaged. Try to push your knees out slightly. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Off to that hole. Still got one minute to go. Hold that three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Your Superman. Thirty seconds to go. We'll get through the Superman. And that will probably be the end of that round there, which is perfectly fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is time. Perfect timing there. So grab your two minutes rest. We're going to go back to what we were doing for the first round, but this time it'll be the third round. Pretty straightforward. Same thing, 10 in and out. Forehand release burpees, 180 degree twist if you can. 10 toe taps, and then that hold. And I got weights that don't match here, because I know a lot of people don't have the, uh, the essentials, the stuff that you want during this time period. So I'm going to make do with what I got as well. So grab a drink of water. I'm gonna check the comments real quick. So how was that for everyone so far? If you guys are following along, just let us know. If you need any modifications, let us know. We got one minute to go here until we go on to the next round. Avalon and Jeremy will be in the comment section looking through. So if anyone needs any modifications, any suggestions, any recommendations, whatever you guys need, just let us know. We're here for you. Hey Sam, hey Sean, glad you guys could join. Happy to see you guys in the crowd there. So we got half a minute to go. Uh, what just occurred is we have finished halfway through this circuit. So that's awesome, good work guys. What we have after this circuit, so we got half of this to go still, is a little finisher. So isometric holds, something to burn out. 
uh, get that fatigue really going. We got 15 seconds to go, and we're gonna finish, or I'm gonna start our third round, sorry. Moving everything away, away. 10 in and out, gotta have that rhythm there. Time is started, four minutes on the clock, starting with the end, so one, 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 one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just to get the rhythm going there. Off to the hand release burpees. So going down, hand releasing, pushing up, stepping through, stepping up, 180 degree twist. That's two. That's three. Finish back on the original side. Four. Get your weight. Get what you need. And get ready for 10 taps. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten. Twenty-five seconds of a hold. Standing upright, gripping on. I'm doing thumbless here, making it a little bit harder for what I got. Shoulders back, looking forward. Five seconds in, 20, 20 seconds to go. Try to catch your breath, breath if you can during this time period. We're ten seconds in. 15 seconds in, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Putting the weights down, off to the start, in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's 10. Four hand releases, burpees, 180. Be careful on the way down there. If you're not at that advanced level, don't try to go as quick as I was going there because the eccentric loading of it may cause a little bit of pain. Go at your own rhythm, your own pace. 10 total taps. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten. Two minutes in. So we got two minutes to go. Off to the holds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Wait down. Grab a drink of water if need be. Hope the stream's working well with you guys there. We'll be off to the in and out. 10. Nice warm. Nice two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Off to hand release bird piece 180. Three. And four. Last little bit, 10 in and out. We got 20 seconds to go. One, two, three, five, six, eight, nine, 10. And that is time. It's the last time we'll be doing that round there. Two minutes rest period, and we'll be going off to our last round. Let me, know, let me know how it's going for you guys. Let me know how the streaming's going. If it's a little choppy, let me know as well. Something to take note of. Let me know if the sound quality is well as well. As well as well. We've got a minute and a half to go.
One minute to go. So please let me know in the comment section there if the video is coming in a little choppy. I'm taking a look at myself here on my second little laptop and it does look like it's coming in choppy. Just let me know and I'll play around with a few things later on if need be. Thirty seconds to go. Final round. Then we're off to the finisher. Okay. So ten seconds till the final round. Looks okay to me. Perfectly fine. Awesome. So it might just be my laptop here. It's giving me a little bit of a scare. So we're going to get going with our fourth and final set before our finisher here. It's going to be four minutes long, just like everything else. Get your drink of water in. We're going to get going in about five seconds. Okay. Ten weighted squats. Grab your weight. Form your squats. Chest up. Looking forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You guys know what's next. Put the weight down, same thing, body weight. You know, if you want to add that little explosive jump, throw it in. Two, I'm perfectly fine without it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and why not? Let's throw the static hold in there. 25 seconds, 20 seconds for the static hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Off to the Superman, really burn out. Low back that going. If you can, if you're not too fatigued, extend those arms out, extend the legs back, get them going. Two, three, four. If you want to make it easier, hands behind the head. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to the squat fun. We are at around two minutes. So squats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Putting the weight down, same thing. Trying to bring your butt back to that chair that's behind you. Pull your hips back and sit back. And this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. And to really burn it up, like before, that hold, 20 seconds long. Break that 90 if you can. I'm fatigued. I'll try. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Everything hurts. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. Gonna be off to the Superman. Less than a minute to go. 50 seconds to go. Ten in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Getting there. Ten. Keep going, guys. Doing great. Twenty seconds to go. Let's finish off with our weighted squats here. That is probably all we're gonna get through this time frame. So one, two. Three, 
Don't worry about that time. Four, we'll just get the 10 done. Five, six, seven, eight, weight up, nine, finish strong, and 10. Put that weight down, grab your two minutes rest. Two minutes rest, drink of water. And we're gonna go off to a little finisher here, which is just the hold. Minute and a half to go. Got that quarantine hair going on. Gotta wear my hat now when I work out. Just getting in my eyes too much. Minute and 15 seconds to go. And then we're gonna do our holds. So it'll be 15 seconds all the way through the four movements. 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Done, and then we're gonna go off to the stretching. It's just over a minute left to go. If you wanna add weights, add weights for the lunges. I'm not gonna add weights myself. seconds to go. So when I'm talking, we got 30 seconds to go, what I'm talking about, isometric hold, that means you're going to be holding it at a point that it's usually not comfortable, so you're not fully relaxed. You're probably also not going to be fully flexed, but for what we're doing here, lunge, you're going down, this will be your left leg lunge, lunge, which will be 15, 20, and 30 seconds. We're going to start with 15, go all the way through all the movements, 20, all the way through 30. So keeping the chest up, keeping that 90 and 90, switching off the other side, just like so, holding 15 and so forth. Off to all the rock and plank, all these stuff. It's, going to, it's meant to burn, it's meant to be a finisher, it's going to be hard for myself as well. All the rock, keeping the legs up, keeping the arms up. Plank, high plank, low plank, depending on what you want. Off the elbows, off the hands, but still, whatever you're doing, try to stack the joints. So wrist below elbow, below shoulder. And if you want to create it harder for yourself, make it harder for yourself, try to picture creating tension, pulling your feet to your elbows, and trying to bring your elbows to your feet. They're not physically going to move, but you're going to try to drag the floor in that direction with that limb. Just like so. We're going to get going in five seconds here, starting with the lunge. And it is left side. So put this back for a second. Three, two, one, go. Left side lunge, chest up, create that bend. Don't have the knee resting on the ground, have it up. 10 seconds to go, chest up. Five seconds to go. When you come out of it, come out of it like you normally come out of the lunge. So standing up, switching sides. 15 seconds for this. I'll give you guys some time to transition into the next movement and then the 15 seconds will start. Five more seconds to go. Time to transition. Get into that hollow rock. When you guys are there, it should be a reasonable time now. So we're gonna start now. 15 seconds on the clock. Five more to go. Off to play, transition. I'm going to go high first, starting now, 15 seconds, five more seconds to go, and back through it, now we're 20 seconds, left leg lunge first, 20 seconds, torso up, same thing, same deal. Don't lose your balance. 10 to go. I'm giving you guys 90 to 100% here. This is really hard. Switching sides. 
I don't got much left in the tank myself, but I'll make it through it. Ten more seconds. This really burns. Right in the quad. Five more seconds. Can't imagine what the next one's gonna feel like. Transition, take your time. We got 20 seconds when we get there. Don't take too long. Going off. 20 seconds. Feet up, arms up, core engage. 15 to go. Five to go. And plank, transition over. I'll show you a little plank version starting now. 20 seconds on the clock. Off the elbow instead of the hands. Don't have your hips too high up, piped. Don't have them too low either. Five more seconds to go. Transition. It's going to be 30 seconds a piece, so this is going to be two minutes of work here. Four movements. Left leg first, lunge. And time's on the clock. Mind over matter, just keep it going. This is still better than doing a five kilometer jog, I'll tell you that. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. And transition. 30 seconds on the clock. Keep that torso up. Keep that 90, 90 in the knees. Burning, really. Shaking and burning. 15 to go. Ten to go. Don't try to rely on the arm if you can. Five to go if you got it. Three, two, and one. Transition. Thirty seconds. All rock. Try your best. And time. Ten seconds in, fifteen seconds in. If you got it, another ten seconds. Here we go, keep going. I clocked out there. Keep going for another five if you got it. Go back into it if you can. Another three, two, one. Transition, and we'll hop into our final plank. Thirty seconds. We're gonna take a little bit of time here. Three, two, full thirty seconds, and up. 25 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go. 15. 10. Last 10. This will be last five. Finish strong. All you got. And that's time. Grab a drink of water. We'll be starting our rest. And going into our cool down very shortly. Grab your drink of water. How's everyone holding? How's everyone doing? Let us know in the comment section there. We're still going to take another minute or so. If you can, grab a drink. Start walking around. We're going to try to bring the heart rate down. Light walk, light jog, nothing too strenuous. The Rock. I can only imagine who said that in the comments there by PSP Softfield. Sounds like a Jeremy thing. I appreciate it. Keep walking around. Still got a minute to go. 
about a minute on the timer here. It does burn, Jeremy. It is a hard workout. Thirty seconds to go. Okay. We'll start with the upper body for the cool down in just about twenty seconds. We are going to, if you can, find a sturdy object. And in 15 seconds, we'll be performing this. And you're just going to be facing that sturdy object and turning away. My object is out of scene here, so I hope you guys can see. We're going to get into that in five seconds. So we're coming up to that object, arm on it, 90 degree bend, rotating away, holding for 30 seconds. So we're going to be stretching the chest, a little bit of the interior portion of our shoulder. Another 15 to go. And we'll transition other side. So find that sturdy object, facing it, rotating away, 90 degree bend in the arm. So we're going to transition to a hip flexor stretch, so we're getting onto the floor here. Bending the one leg, from the other leg up. So today's session was on muscular endurance. Before we get going onto that, actually, what we're going to be doing here is flexing the glutes, leaning forward, getting a little stretch in the hip flexor, something we've done a few times in the past. So for you guys that are new to this one, this is a great stretch to help open up the hips from all the sitting down we've been doing. And today's session was on muscular endurance. We were working on fatiguing the muscles of the full body here in resembling movement protocols that are related to the annual force test, which is an annual requirement of the military. Uh, if you guys are a calf member and you did get injured throughout this little workout here, don't forget to write up your CF98. Uh, and for the next six minutes, we'll be stretching here. So if you guys have a moment, just let us know how it went. Give us a little bit of feedback for the whole class while you are stretching and a good job with everything we've done today. We're going to transition to the other side. We are passing just over the 50 day mark or so of people being in isolation. For some people that's them being on their own. So just keep that in mind, try your best and we're going to try to get through this together. So a little hip flexor stretch. And we're going to switch over to hamstrings. Bending the leg, trying to get the stretch in the leg that is straight. Going for 30 seconds, like we've gone for these past few stretches. Switch your sides. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for uh, that little comment there saying that was a good watch, as well as I'll catch you around when you do your workouts in the future. See you later, man. Switching to hip opener. Variation of butterfly stretch or the butterfly stretch itself. So, next Thursday at uh, 3 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time, we will be doing our live uh, cardio interval circuit training with Avalon. So, if you guys have a moment, 
half an hour, stop on by, it'll be a great circuit like always. Switching to hip abductor, bend the leg over. Rotating the body away from the leg. Got about a minute and a half left of stretching here to do. Switch off, opposite knee, opposite shoulder, lying down. Just like so. Other side. Catch my breath here, a little bit of breath still from all that working out. And last one, knees, chest, little back stretch. Finishing up, 15 more seconds. Thanks for all coming out today, guys. Really appreciate that. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care.